Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to talk about using the New York State Census on Archives.com. Before we get started, let's talk about the difference between the Federal Census and a State Census. The Federal Census includes the entire United States and is taken every 10 years. The first one was taken in 1790 and the most recent one that's available for us to use is the one that was taken in 1940. Now some states took their own census in some of the off years, that is, a year that a federal census wasn't taken. New York is one of those states. And there are three New York State censuses available on archives.com. 1892, 1915, and 1925. Here's an example from the 1892 census of New York State. It's a very basic census and unfortunately it does not include any relationships. So we don't know how Calvin, Mary, and Florence Aldrich are all related. There also aren't any indications about where a household begins and ends. So Polly Mead, shown here with the orange arrow, we don't know who she's living with. Is she living with the Aldrich family? Is she living with the Seymour, with Mary Seymour? Are Mary and Polly living together with the Moore houses? We just don't know exactly how these households are arranged. But we can use the 1892 census to put these people in a specific place at a specific time. And we can also get information about their age, we can see what country they were born in, their race, and their occupation. The 1915 and 1925 New York State censuses are virtually identical to each other. And they have a lot more information than what we had in 1892. We have information including relationships to the head of household. We have the race, the person's sex, their age, where they were born, and unfortunately it only includes the country. For those born in the United States, it doesn't list what state they were born in. Lists whether they were a citizen or an alien, their occupation, and what class of worker they were, whether they were an employer, whether they worked for wages, or whether they worked on their own account. In other words, they were self-employed. We also see indications of their street address. So you can see where there is one house, or I should say one building, with multiple families living in that household. So a lot of really good information on the 1925 and 1915 state censuses. For people who were born outside the United States, you can also do a little bit of math to figure out when they entered the United States. As we have here, Elizabeth Skinner, who's age 67, born in England, and it's noted that she has been in the United States for 56 years. If this information is correct, we can do a little bit of math and figure out that Elizabeth came to the United States at age 11. There is one additional column on the 1925 census, and that is for people who are naturalized, it's supposed to list when and where they were naturalized, which is a great clue for tracking down those naturalization records. Now let's take a look at finding these records on archives.com. When you go to archives.com and log in, click on search. And this will give you more options for searching for records on archives.com. What you will want to do is click this drop down and select census records. Now let's say that we're looking for George, for George Bartle. And 
and we want to find him in the 1915 New York State Census. So what I want to do is click on State and select New York. And that will allow me to go over to the census years and select 1915 and click search. And here's the one that I'm interested in, born around 1895. And from other information I have, I have him living in Westchester County. So I would like to take a look at this George Bartle. So I can click on his name. And this record will give me just some very basic information about the George Bartle. But what I really want to do is see that image. So I can click to view image. And I can use the image control on the right hand side of the screen to zoom in. And I find George C. Bartle, who's listed as a son in the household of Albert Bartle and Albert's wife, Carrie. And we see information then about Albert, Carrie, and George, all living at 967 Paulding Street. The New York State Census is a great resource for finding your ancestors who were living in the great state of New York. Take a look at these three state censuses today.